Hey there guys, 3D Printer Dude here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to print things in Bamboo Studio. Maybe you're new to this and you're just setting it up. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So step number one to learning how to print something in Bamboo Studio is to open up the app. Chances are you installed it on your desktop computer. This is what it looks like when you open it, right? So what you can do here is if you wanna start a project from raw, you can click on new project, right? Or if you wanna find something to print, you can click on this more button over here in the right hand corner. And if we click on this, what it's gonna do is it's going to open up a website known as makerworld.com. This is Bamboo Studio's website. And what's really cool is we can choose a lot of things on here. Like we can click on 3D models. That's what you wanna to do to start here. And you can just start by searching things. Uh, let's search for a Pokemon. That's really common. And let's just print, uh, or let's look at this Pikachu, right? And what you would do here is you would search through the makerworld.com website. And what's really cool here is uh, the difference between Maker World and all the other websites is that Maker World, like their prints are designed for bamboo printers and the chances of having good prints are a lot higher. So as you can see here, this is the Pikachu. It says no supports, which usually means it's a really easy, simple print. And then when you're ready to choose your print, all you have to do is click on download or print. And what you can do is you can download the file, which you're gonna need an STL file. So make note of that. You need STL files for your bed. Is I would come over and I would minus and I would remove all these color filaments one by one until I just have one color. Because if you have a single printer, a single color printer without any AMS, this is what you need to do. And you will notice that the print is just one color now. And then what you wanna do here, um, you can start by choosing your printer. Hopefully you've connected to it and you can see your printer in here. We're gonna choose the P1S, I have that printer. And then what we do here is we just go down the list on the left. Uh, this is our printer. Make sure this is the right type of plate you have on your printer. It's probably auto loaded from whatever came with it. You don't have to look too far into that. Uh, the type of filament, uh, bamboo PLA basic. This isn't a huge deal. What I tend to do is just uh, choose basic and honestly, I don't have bamboo print branded filament, not a huge deal. Um, just make sure, you know, that it's PLA versus ABS or other stuff, right? And then as far as supports, um, really the only thing you have to worry about with prints, uh, a lot of this bamboo stuff is just really like easy to just get going, right? So what you can do here, uh, what you might have to worry about is supports. So if I click on the support here, the support tab and enable support, and then what you want to do next is click on the preview tab because the preview tab is the next tab in the process of moving forward into sending the print to the printer. And this will tell you if it, if, if it were to do supports that where it would be, right? And there's two types of supports. So you could do these normal ones or you could select the tree ones. And to change it, you have to go back to the prepare tab. Don't forget that. And then click on the pre preview tab again and let it auto generate with the new settings. So the prepare tab right here is where you modify stuff for your print and then the preview is where it like finalizes it and it just like does its thing if that makes sense and then this will tell you let me move myself here this will tell you once in the preview tab how long the print takes see right here it's total time and supports right and honestly this is like i could just click print and you're off to the races but let's talk a, let's talk about a couple more things here so another big variable that i find is sizing right so click on the prepare tab because we're going to go change some of these settings and to to change the sizing of your print all you have to do is click on it and then there's a sizing button up here it says scale and then click that and then this is the scaling so i always if you're going to choose this if you're going to uh, increase or decrease the size i always choose the scale because that way it keeps the proportions even right so if i want to do it bigger i would do it 200x and then click enter see how much bigger it went and then to kind of get a better view, you can click and drag and get a three-dimensional view of this on Bamboo Studio. And again, guys, I didn't know anything about these splicers. I kind of just learned this as you go, and I'm trying to help. Uh, I'm somewhat new to printing myself, so I feel like I'm a good person to explain this to, right? Or explain this from. All right, so then if I wanted to print it this big, uh, that's cool, right? So then once I'm, once I'm finalized with the sizing, the supports, I'm actually going to click off supports because if you remember... The print back here, it says no supports. So I literally don't need any supports. So, and again, if you can do prints without supports, it's a much, much better option here. So now that I am pretty much finished with my print here, what I wanna do is click on preview because it's gonna do all of the sizing and it's gonna figure all this out. You can see down here on the right hand side, it says generating walls, 
slicing plate one, generating infill, checking support. And then when it's done here, it's gonna tell us how long this is gonna take and some of the information. And it says an hour and 30 minutes. That's not bad, right? And then it gives you a bunch of stuff like the inner wall, outer wall. This is all pretty technical stuff, the bridging. Um, all that stuff doesn't really, you know, if you're just trying to like just print cool stuff, it doesn't really, honestly, you can just minus this in. And then now that we're ready, we can just click on print plate. And then what we want to do here, this pops up. Um, it says send print job to, and then we want to choose our printer, right? Make sure you have your, the I call mine the beast. Don't laugh. I'm dorky. Um, then you want to make sure you have bed leveling, time lapse uh, checked. And then you just click send. And the printer, this is going to send to the printer. And it's going to take a minute to download. You should have your printer um, plugged in. Make sure to clean the plate. I clean the plate with isopropyl alcohol between every single print. I got to I gotta say, the, the biggest setback that I, I see people have happen to them is that the prints don't stick enough. And then like it comes up. And I think cleaning it with an isopropyl alcohol is a huge deal in between prints. So then this screen is now going to go to the device tab through Bamboo Studio, right? And then uh, you can probably hear my printer starting. And then what we can do here is check the status. And if you, if this is black right here, all you have to do is click this little play button and it will give you a live camera view of your printer, which is pretty cool. As long as you have the P1S or the, the anything above that. So, and what's cool here is I can, you know, I can look at the micro SD card. I can look at other prints, you know, like a lot of people don't know this, but it actually does screen records or uh, time-lapse records of it. And then, What's cool is you can go in here and check the status of the print uh, at any point. You can do this on your phone as well. You can download the Bamboo Studio app and it, it, you can do like a live view of it. And yeah, guys, this is how to send a print in Bamboo Studio from the beginning. Hope this helped you learn how to do this. Hit me up in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. I'm a fellow somewhat new enthusiast to the 3D print hobby. So yeah, let's, uh, let's be friends and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.